thing that came out of that survey for me though, and as you alluded to, because I wrote an entire book about it, is that America has a chronic illness problem. The biggest predictive um, factor as to whether someone required hospitalization or not wasn't age. We keep saying, oh, it's the elderly that are vulnerable. Yes, being elderly does make you more vulnerable, but 96% of the people who were hospitalized with COVID-19 on this survey had at least one pre-existing health condition. And when we have about 60% of American adults with one, that's a big problem. And the biggest, the most common were obesity, uh, cardiovascular disease, and hypertension. And Neil, I hate to tell you, but my book talks all about it. Up to 80% of those cases could have potentially been prevented through lifestyle modifications. And the good news is, it's not too late. You can actually change some lifestyle behaviors right now to lessen your risk of those, lessen the severity of those, and also protect you from COVID-19.